I'm going to share with you guys a recipe for these delicious tacos. It only takes a couple of ingredients, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. This is a perfect recipe for Taco Tuesday if you do that type of thing or if you just want to eat tacos any night of the week. This is such an easy recipe. So what you're going to need as far as ingredients is one cow tongue, one teaspoon of pepper, three bay leaves, one tablespoon of salt, one half of an onion, a garlic bulb, cilantro and onion, and that's just to put um, the garnish to put on top. All right. This is how I find the lengua where I live. It comes in this um, type of wrapper. So I'm just cutting this open and the first thing that I do is I rinse it off. And some people like to trim the fat, I keep the fat on. So I just put this uh, really quickly through a rinse and get off any debris like hairs and stuff like that. And I'm gonna put this into my, I'm gonna be cooking this into my Instapot. And it's actually going to be on the slow cooker mode in, in my Instapot. So just be sure to give it a pretty good rinse. I like to make sure that I lift up all the little flappy pieces and just make sure that it, you know, it's all clean. And once it's pretty nice and clean, I'm just going to put it into my instapot this is just a liner and then i'm going to put the the water you just need water you don't need a lot of water but you do want it to cover the tongue so i'm just going to put enough water to cover that up and then i'll start adding the spices i'm going to add about a teaspoon of pepper three bay leaves, about, I think I'll put two teaspoons of salt. I'm also going to be putting half of an onion and one whole garlic clove that I have um, cut in half. And I'll just be adding that right into there. And I'm going to be cooking this in my Instapot on slow cooker. Oh, where is it? Slow cook. But I'm going to heat it up first and then drop it down to slow cook. I'll plug this in. And the first thing what I'm going to do is put this onto uh, the meat stew for 10 minutes. And then when that beeps, I'm going to put also keep that vent thingy on. And then when it beeps, it should be done. And then I'm going to put it on slow cook. Hey, real quick, by the way, if you guys like these kinds of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. All right, so we're gonna go head out for a little bit today, and this has passed 10 minutes. It, um, it does take a little bit longer. It doesn't count the pressurizing time or the depressurizing time, so I'm not even sure if I can open this. Oh, I can't even open it. Okay, so anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it closed, that's fine. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this off and then I'm just gonna put it to slow cook. Slow cook. And I'll be back, it's not gonna run the whole seven hours, but um, I'll be back before that. So I don't want it to overcook, but it will depressurize because the slow cook doesn't have the pressure built up in it. So by the time I come back, maybe like, I'll check this hopefully within um, an hour or two, and hopefully it won't be overcooked. Did you know that cow tongue, like most organ meats, is high in iron and zinc? Zinc helps boost your immune system and iron can help your cells produce energy. It is also rich in choline and vitamin B12, 
Vitamin B12 helps the body's nervous system and also helps with healthy blood cells. And this can help when people have anemia or might feel tired and weak. It is also a complete protein, meaning that it has all of the amino acids that our body needs, including the nine that our body cannot synthesize, meaning that we have to get it from a dietary source. Also, one that I think is pretty important is that it tastes better than liver. So I have struggled with low iron and anemia pretty much all my life, and I do not like liver no matter how much bacon I put with it. I tend to pull out the bacon and leave the liver. So cow tongue is the way to go, at least for me. Also, that leads me to the fact that it is considered a high cholesterol food, but like I said before, I was frying my liver in a bunch of bacon grease, so... Um, although I don't mind the bacon grease, you might want to keep that in mind if you have to do a low cholesterol type diet. Um, just something to keep in mind. So I know I kind of went off track a little bit, but I like to find out this type of information about foods and stuff. Anyways, the National Institute of Health Online is a good resource just to read up about vitamins and foods and how they work for our bodies. That's where I always find little information. So if you guys like learning that kind of stuff too, maybe check it out. Okay, after a few hours, then you want to check the lengua to see if it's done. And so I'm stabbing a fork right into the middle. And if it falls off easily, then it's done. And that is perfect. So the next thing you want to do is give it a little bit, probably like 10 minutes. It's still going to be hot, but um, you can stick a knife underneath to kind of get, the, get in between the skin and the flesh and to get to get it started so that you can start peeling all of this off and that's still pretty hot okay so once it's cooled off enough for you to touch it just start peeling off all of the skin and it should come off in a pretty good you know it's not going to be like little tiny tiny pieces it shouldn't be um and so it should all peel off rather easily And this is what it looks like after it's all completely peeled. I know it looks a little crazy with all those little bumps on the tongue, but don't worry, it's gonna taste delicious. All we have to do now is just cut it up. I like to just start by slicing it like this, slicing it all up and then I'll turn it on its side and start dicing it up into smaller pieces. When you're dicing it, you can dice it to whatever size you want if you want bigger chunks then leave it bigger. I like to leave it a little bit smaller just so that the kids don't get all freaked out about um, what it is but it's still it's a very tender meat like I don't I don't think the kids really know what it is they they like the tacos so I just keep chopping it up and you can see how tender the meat is it's it's really juicy it's actually a lot juicier than you can get steak sometimes and it's really flavorful you can't you can't really tell a difference Tastes way better than liver. Yeah. And if you want, you can pull out the little um, squishier fatty pieces if that's not something that you really like. But personally, I like the extra fat. And then for serving it to, to garnish on top, I just like to pull some a little bit of cilantro and chop it up really finely and I'm going to put that right on top of the taco as well as a little bit of diced onion and you can use um, green onion, red onion or whatever kind you like. I just just happen to have only the white onion so that's what I'm using tonight. And then of course we're going to serve it on the tortillas so just go ahead and heat those up um, using the corn tortillas just because by default that's what it's usually served on and I also cut up a little bit of radish just to put on the side because it's um, super delicious with radish I like a lot of radish and then you just gotta dig in eat the tacos and that's it it's super easy I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe because I will um, thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel thank you so much <laughs>